What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a fun video for you where I am going to show you what is in my filming bag. This is my trusty, crusty, dirty filming backpack um, that I've had for quite some time now. But I thought it would be really fun to show you guys all of the things that I take with me to filming to get you guys the best behind the scenes that I possibly can. Just a quick little like introduction to how I got into doing the behind the scenes. So I've been doing the behind the scenes since 2020 and around that time Lance had been doing the behind the scenes but he had also been filming at the same time and editing I was really overwhelmed and so I was like hey why don't you like teach me how to edit and then I can help you edit the videos that you film because at that time I was still working in the emergency room as a nurse and so I didn't have time to like go to filming but I could help with editing on my days off because I only worked three days a week so Lance sat down with me for about three days and showed me the ropes as far as like editing editing goes and after three days I had gotten the hang of it and was editing behind the scenes and then as time went on he kind of needed a little bit more help as far as filming went so for a while there I was working in the ER and filming and going to nurse practitioner school all at the same time so it was like really crazy and eventually I ended up quitting my job at the hospital so that I could just do filming and nurse practitioner school and just take like working at the hospital off of my plate so that was just way too much and so ever since I finished school and then I've just been doing behind the scenes filming and editing full time and I absolutely love it content creation is one of my passions it's something that I've loved to do since I was young it's like photography and videography is something that I enjoy so it's really interesting how you know you have this mind of like this is the career that I'm gonna do and then you end up doing something totally different but it was really a blessing in disguise because I absolutely love what I do so without any further ado let me show you what's in my filming bag this is a revite bag which I absolutely love because they're made to be like a camera bag slash backpack and it like really fits all of my needs so let's start with the front zip pocket <laughs> what do we have in here all right first things first we have cream savers this is one of Lance's favorite candies and I accidentally bought like way too many of these so I actually have like a thing of these in every bag that I carry with me on a regular basis like my purse and my backpack and my beach bag <laughs> um, I have this which is a portable charging device so you can charge you know your phone or I could even charge like headphones or a computer or a microphone or anything with this little battery pack and I absolutely love it because it has butterflies on it and I got this at five below for like four dollars hand sanitizer is a must no need to explain I have this like tiny microphone that I got and I've never used it because when I plugged it up to my phone it says it wasn't compatible but I've been like determined to get it to work because I thought it would be just so funny to like make little videos with this thing but I just stuck it in my filming bag so maybe in future videos or shorts or TikToks, you'll see this little microphone if I get around to figuring it out. <laughs> Up next, I have some Delta headphones. So the reason that I have these is every time we go on a Delta flight and they offer these, I say yes, because nine times out of 10, Logan ends up needing these whenever they're recording songs for videos that have songs in them. So I'm just like, here are a fresh, clean pair of headphones that you guys can use. And the wire like rips all the way down. So it stretches really far and makes it easy for them to like him have one in one ear and then whoever is recording the song have one in the other. So always have a pair of Delta headphones with me. I have some Aveeno lotion. Uh, mostly keep this for Lance because his hands get a little dry sometimes. I have a little medicine container like pill box. Um, I don't know why that's in there. Sometimes like I take vitamins and if we're filming early in the morning then I'll just need to take my vitamins with me in a little pill thing. Random earring. <laughs> I don't know how that got in there but it's a cute earring. I need to put that with my jewelry. <laughs> Bobby pins. Yes always need these in case you need to pin your hair back. And then I have an assortment of pins and highlighters. I don't really need these anymore, but I used to keep these with me because uh, at filming, I would do my studying in between scenes or when we were taking breaks and stuff. And I would need this to highlight my book and write homework and stuff like that. But just keep them in there for good measure now. Delta tissues, you know, cause you never know when you need a tissue. And I just like to like collect free things. <laughs> chapstick, this is actually Lance's chapstick. And I always keep one of these on me too, in case he needs his chapstick. Then I usually have one for me too but I don't really prefer like the original chapstick at least for myself but this is one of Lance's favorites this is my chapstick it's an EOS chapstick these are my favorites and this one smells like lychee and it is so yummy I have some blue light glasses which sometimes I'll wear them when I'm editing but nine times out of ten I forget but always good to have a pair of these and I found the other earring <laughs> I like totally forgot about these, but I love these. So I'm totally gonna put those with my jewelry when this is over. All right, up next we'll do 
the back pocket. So this big pocket is where I keep a majority of my actual filming equipment. So you can see in there, it's like structured like a camera bag. So it keeps my camera nice and padded and safe. Speaking of which, this is the camera that I use to film behind the scenes. It's a Canon G7X. It is a fantastic camera and I love it very much. It's nice and compact, really easy for me to hold and to operate. And then of course we have our battery packs for charging the camera batteries. And then in this little shark sunglass baggie is where I have all of my, oh, it's where I have all of my batteries that I need for the camera itself. And then this is the microphone that I usually use on a daily basis, um, most especially when you're, we're filming inside scenes. Um, this is a Rode microphone, but I also have this Rode microphone, which has this little fuzzy thing on it. And so I use this for when we're filming outside because the fuzzy little poofy thing helps to block out wind noise and outside noise. But to be honest, it kind of works not so well, um, especially when we're filming at the beach it can get really bad, but it does block out some wind. Up next, I have a dongle. Actually, I have two dongles, and these are really important because we use MacBooks as our computers for editing, and you need this to be able to import your scenes and put in your memory card and put in anything with a USB or HDMI or anything like that. I have a pair of sunglasses in here. I actually have two pairs of sunglasses. I have these, which I got for Christmas, and then I have these, which are my Ray-Bans. Always need a pair of sunglasses on you because you never know when we're gonna be filming outside in the sun and I can't see the camera screen if I'm like squinting because it's so bright outside. And of course a little wipey to clean the sunglasses if needed. I have a straw, let me explain. It's because we order a lot of Uber Eats and DoorDash when we're at filming and so many times they don't send the straw. So I like to keep a straw on me just in case. Up next we have eye drops. I have these because my eyes get super dry and if we're filming really late at night and I've had my contacts in all day and it's getting to be like 3 a.m it's starting to feel like there's glass in my eyes. And so I keep the eye drops with me in case I need to just moisturize my eyes a little bit to get me through the rest of the night. Up next, we have Excedrin. I take this with me everywhere I go. It is the best like migraine headache medication that like I've ever found. And a lot of the times people will come to me at filming and be like, hey, Audrey, do you have any Excedrin? And I'm just like, yeah. And I'm essentially the plug for Excedrin at filming. <laughs> I also have this little Ipsy bag where I keep kind of like knickknacks in it things that are loose in my bag, like more Delta headphones. I have an Apple watch band in here, dongle sleeve. I don't know why I have that. A pair of like regular headphones, more hand sanitizer, ibuprofen, and earbud caps. I don't know why I have those either. <laughs> Just things that I've kind of like collected over the years and held on to because I guess I thought I might need it at some point in time, I don't know. Up next, I have a lot of chargers. So I have this charger, which which is my charger for the microphone um, because it does not run off the camera battery. It actually has to be charged. I have a phone charger because you know you always need to charge your phone. And a lot of the times I'm using my phone for things at filming. So usually need to juice it up a little bit. And I'm gonna unzip this top part here. So that is where I keep the big stuff. So I have this stick, which is what I attach to the camera when I'm filming. And the thing that's special about it is that it extends so go, go gadget filming stick. I love this because a lot of the times I'm trying to get like a certain angle for a scene and I'm having to like reach my arm all the way over the top of my head. And sometimes like I can't see the camera or my arm is getting tired because the scene's taking so long. So this actually really saves me a lot and helps me get the great angles for you guys. So you can see everything that's happening in the scene, especially if it's one that's hard for me to get from behind or the side or I'm having difficulty seeing what's going on. These are my handy dandy editing headphones. They are the AirPods Max, which I put a cute little case on them. They're the green ones. I absolutely love these because the noise canceling on them is amazing. And my ears really hurt after having like regular AirPods in for a while. So I absolutely highly recommend these if you are someone that has sensitive ears or if you just need a better level of like noise canceling. And then I have my MacBook charger in there, of course. And finally, my handy dandy 
MacBook, which I use for editing. So that is everything that's in my filming bag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I thought it would be really fun to just show you the things that I take with me on a daily basis and what I use them for and my reasoning for keeping them with me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments in the comment section. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Odd Squad.